Greetings, adventurers. Welcome back to another Cathedral of Light video. We just got done leveling this barbarian through 100 malignant tunnels. If you want to go see that, I'll put a little card up in the corner of the screen. But we're just going to smash through this. We're a little bit higher level than we usually are, because um, I didn't want to mess with the essence of the in a row video. But I don't think it matters too much for the Cathedral of Light. We are on a Thorns Bleed Barbarian. Get the triple shout. Let me see if we can rock this place. I need more fury. I would love just opening with the, with the ultimate. Using the ultimate as much as I can. It's basically free fury. I'm low on fury. got a couple things to increase our thorns. We have obviously Challenging Shout, but we also have the Berserking gives you thorns. So two of my shouts increase the damage they do to themselves. The biggest downside of the bleed build is uh, when they have a shield, your bleed picks their shield first. Just kills your damage a little bit. Pull back up. This guy's trying to escape. There is no escape from me. I'm low on fury. Now that our ult's down, we hit our resource gen shout. This is, however, a build that I like using Builder because it gives us extra thorn and damage reductions. You'd be surprised at what counts as direct damage. I will show you on the last boss of here, but there's a lot that counts as direct damage that I really think shouldn't. But I'm not complaining. Oh, it didn't even go down. We have a lot of healing with this build. I chose not to go with Fortify Generation, because I don't think this build needs it. I heal when I spend Fury. That's the biggest one. I also heal from my shouts. I need more fury. For now, I don't have a lot of vulnerability damage, but this is a vulnerability crit build. I have a decent amount of crit, but crit more matters for my needs. With this keystone. I, I don't really care about the overpower part, but the increasing my bleeds by my uh, crit damage is always nice. And later on, when we stun someone, it will do a butt ton of the bleed damage. The reason I'm not running Rupture is Rupture actually consumes the bleed. The stunning them to deal damage does not. So in the long term, it'll be better. Plus, Triple Shout is just really strong. There's a reason most Barbarian builds run Triple Shout. There's one wing finish. How did you survive? Oh, I guess I didn't go through there. Yeah, look at that. The shield just... I thought he was dead, but he put his shield up. There we go. Now he is. That is nice about a bleed build. You can uh, just steal a bunch of damage and run away from them because they're going to die from your bleeds. Holy 
because I feel like it. Like gradient is if they survive my ult, it was probably a, a good time to ult. Kind of seems a little bit backwards. I don't have enough. I feel like I didn't waste it if they survived it. I don't know. This is, this is reasoning coming from a guy who has done. 300 sellers and 100 malignant tunnels. So take it with a grain of salt. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That was a good ult. One guy survived. The rest of them died. That means my ult was not overkill. I got that that's the better way to put it. My ult was not overkill. So these uh bit of lights count as direct damage, even though it's an AoE kind of thing. Don't know why. That's how they coded the game. A lot of things that I would consider AoE. Surprisingly, big target. I don't know if you know the boss, but the one that does like the big beam of light. If you stand in it every single tick of that beam, will deal bonus damage. Even though it's a line on, on the ground ability. It's more confusing what isn't direct damage. If there's so much that is direct damage. I'm guessing summons would be like the biggest category of it's not direct damage. Maybe the direct damage caveat only really matters for PvP and that's why they put it in there. And they're just like, you know what, most of the damage the NPCs will give you will proc damage. So it's actually really strong. Uh, I heard they weren't that strong in Diablo 3. I didn't play Diablo 3. But, uh... For example, in this game, thorns scale with your main stat. So, for example, strength. My strength increasing my skill damage increases my thorns damage because it's apparently coded like a skill. It like specifically says on the thorn school tip increase by strength. I can show you in a second. I need more fury. Let's see. We go down the thorns. Damage is affected by the skill damage increase from your strength. So my thorns damage is increased by 25% for my strength right now. Big guys here. I don't have enough fury. Whenever you have your, uh, whenever you have this ult up called the Ancients, it's basically a free channeling shrine. That's how I treat it. Obviously, without the cooldown reduction portion, but the infinite fury portion is pretty accurate. So uh, one of the ancients, their damage generates you theory. Theory. It's not a theory, that's for sure. Tried and true, tried and tested. Certified conclusion. There's a lot of enemies here, and my ult's back up. Might as well. So that I can't spend the fury fast enough. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh. Well, I could use my own here. I guess that's the one downside of spamming ult. I don't think I need, I need more it. Fury. Ah. 
friend is a nice AoE ability if you can just line it up properly. It's a big arc in front of you. Hello. Follow me. A big thing that I did notice is that your shouts are a knockback. You notice here I'll do a shout. It gives a little knockback on them. You can interrupt a lot of abilities with that. Those big dudes when they're about to do their slam just shout and they get interrupted and they don't slam stand on this so he takes damage. I love Thornsville. Break yourself apart by body. First cathedral boss. Let's see how this goes. I have my ultimate up. I'm just gonna go unstoppable so that this guy stops silencing me. That's pretty decent. We got the positions. I'm not ready. Well, I couldn't interrupt the res. That's fine. I'll just kill this guy a second time. I hope that gives me double XP. That'd be great. I can't use the shout thing on these guys because they're bosses, but surprisingly, despite the shout being kind of like a knockback, it doesn't increase the stagger bar. Alright, that was pretty easy. Moving on to the second area. Follow me. Don't know why they're starting vulnerable, but I don't mind it. The big thing about play is once an enemy is vulnerable and you hit them with play, it increases the vulnerable number. So in theory, you can permanently keep an enemy vulnerable if you have enough theory. Granted, getting enough fury is the problem. I'm out of fury. It's a nice big chunk that we killed. We have one straggler. Oh, and he running. He ain't running no more. Another thing I love about Thorn's build is you can just walk into damage purposely. Running away from someone, they throw a projectile at you. Whoop. Zoom right into the projectile. Yeah, our ultimate's back up, and there's a big one. them up with our challenging shell. Oh, I saw that overpower. I'm a fool. A little 3% or that. I don't know why they put the overpower portion on the lead keystone. Maybe there are overpower lead builds, but I feel like a crit lead build is just better. Just a little bit too much going on if you put overpower in there as well. Because you need plus damage over time, you need crit chance, you need crit damage, and that only leaves one extra slot and bleed is physical damage, so that slot is usually taken up by a plus physical damage. Leave that guy. How big is this? Big enough. I'm excited for the buffs to call the game. I didn't actually look at the full Barbarian buffs. I've been kind of focused on my grinding. I'll make a point of it in my Elias video, though. Buff Barbarian takes on Elias at level 60. I don't like that. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. I don't have enough fury. If 
We are actually, uh, as of the time of recording this, almost at 500, which is what I need to get the first tier of partnership. And then the next goal is 1,000, so I can start getting and that juicy ad revenue. Eventually, I'll be just all star tournament. That's my plan. Don't know when. Probably not this month. I have a lot of regular videos planned for this month. But once my backyard baseball series finishes, I'll probably look into streaming. Do some like Dark Souls or Baldur's Gate 3, that kind of stuff. Let me know what you guys want to see. I got a lot of options. I will not run out of games anytime soon. Make content out of it. So, uh, let me know what content you want to see. Obviously, I'm not going to be dropping Diablo 4. My ultimate came up just in time. I hate when these big guys are always because they spend so much. Time. Also, like Borderlands 2 and stuff. There's a lot of options. Alright. Oh, that. Just walk right through that door. That's how powerful we are. Okay, I'm excited to see this with my Thorns build. I'm gonna try and get hit by as much as possible. I wish he had homing missiles, that would be perfect. Get hit by that, because that counts as direct damage. Get hit by this. Oh my goodness, look at all that thorns damage he's taken. Okay, he, I don't need to get hit by that, he's invulnerable, but I got hit by all three, so I guess it doesn't matter. They don't have enough fury. He's almost staggered. We do have the heart that stuns after a certain amount of fury that's spent. We build up my fury. Get him a little bit stunned. Just face tank everything he does to me. He doesn't want this smoke, that's for sure. Should be stunned soon. Come on. Give me the stun. There we go. Perfect week one, so I did my ult. I don't know why I challenging shouted. He dead. Before the corpse was even come out. Easy peasy. I didn't even take like that much damage, you. Let's look at the sword. Ooh, that is a big one. I do want that Berserking increases bleed damage, because the more bleed instances we have, the stronger the bleed is. Same instance, it makes the bleed longer, different instances, it makes the bleed stronger. And then we also got... Eh. That one's pretty bad. But alright. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching this far. If you want to see more like it, make sure you subscribe because there will be more going up. As I said throughout this video, make sure you comment on anything. Uh, tell me how your day doing. Even even stuff like that. I love responding to your comments. I love seeing your suggestions. So uh, any questions I asked during this video, let me know your responses. My name is Cynical. Signing off.